ഇത് കട്ട് ചെയ്തു ഹലോ എവറിബഡി ഹായ് ഹൗ ഐ യു ആൾ ടുഡേ റെഡി ഫോർ അനദർ അമേസിംഗ് ഡേ ഹലോ ഹലോ ഐ ഹാവ് എ പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ലൈക്ക് യെസ് ടുഡേ ടുഡേ ഓൾസോ we are going to talk about 20th century up to the second world war so many authors and works ready guys without wasting time let us start recap we are going to think of what have we studied the previous day the feast of the poets is a work by which essayist among the following the feast of the poets is a work by which essayist bolo answers bolo ta da da it is lehand feast of the poets is by lehand you have to tell me answers Shall I give you a surprise? Chiyong, chiyong, chiyong. Look at how you are looking at the screen. This is how you are looking at the screen. I can see your faces. <laughs> Did you like my GIF? <laughs> I love it. Lehand is correct. Okay, next question to you. Which among the following is not an illuminated book by Blake? Okay. <laughs> which among the following is not an illuminated book by blake soch ke batao sab to <laughs> blake ka hi hai all these are by blake <laughs> bolo illuminated books are different from prophetic books yes this is the first question ranjana answer is america a prophecy that is a prophetic book it is not an illuminated book so no illuminated book book means uh illuminated book means written like medieval illuminated books with a special kind of ink it is printed and it also throws light on uh, life and divinity it's about god and divinity america a prophecy milton Jerusalem are actually illuminated books. America a prophecy is not an illuminated book. Some of the prophetic books are illuminated books. Read extra about it, okay? Please read extra. Next question. The Fall of Robespierre was written by The Fall of Robespierre. Have you heard this? The Fall of Robespierre? Guys, it was a very radical work. the author or authors later became conservative it is both a and b both a and b coleridge and sade together wrote the fall of robespierre will you remember guys the fall of robespierre written by both a and b the milk of paradise the effect of opium visions on the work of de quincy crab Francis Thompson and Coleridge Have you heard of this book The Milk of Paradise The effect of opium visions on the works of De Quincey Crab Francis Thompson and Coleridge Who is this work by Who wrote this book bolo it is by our excellent many of you are answering m h abrams m h abrams wrote it the milk of paradise please look up the important works of all these writers will you do that guys 
these are all very important writers look up look up their works okay very good poems on various subjects was the debut work by it is a collection of poetry poems on various subjects debut work by batao many of you know it is of course coleridge coleridge wrote poems on various subjects remember that then i uh, between uh, between let me say this poems on various occasions was by byron byron wrote poems on various occasions okay i will write that here so that you will remember later poems on various occasions poems on various subjects is by coleridge poems on various occasions is by byron okay next i was angry with my friend i told my wrath my wrath did end this is the opening line of i was angry with my friend i told my wrath my wrath did end bolo opening line of i'm waiting for the answer ching 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 are i'm waiting for the answer yes it is william blake's a poison tree <laughs> did you like my smiley william blake's a poison tree begins like this i was angry with my friend i told my wrath and my wrath did end okay that was awesome did you like my smiley <laughs> ah and so live ever or else soon to death and so live ever or else soon to death this is the closing line of why am i ask you closing line and opening line because i want you to remember these are all very important <laughs> did you like this ranjana thank you wow smile please is the autobiography of john rice john rice jean rice oh okay okay so live ever or else soon to death this is the closing line of which poem bolo endymion ka nahi yes bright star would i were steadfast as thou art would i were steadfast as thou art bright star would i were steadfast as thou art closes like this and so live ever or else soon to death everyone gives the title of barbarism to everything that is not in use in his own country who said this everyone gives the title of barbarism to everything that is not in use in his own country we are all fundamentalists what is different from us we call it barbarian is it montaigne Lee Hunt, Hazlitt, or Johnson? <laughs> I'm going to show you all my earrings in the coming days. It is Montaigne. Please remember Montaigne excerpts. Look up. He said a lot of important things. Okay. Next. Oh, what can ail the knight at arms? Ah, that is the clue. Oh, what can ail the now knight at arms? alone and palely loitering which poem begins like this bolo oh what can ail the night at arms alone and palely loitering it is the opening line of la belle dame sans mercy la belle dame sans mercy cha ja ja what is this already sleepy are you already sleepy it's only 10 o'clock ruko 12 baje sleepy ho jao abhi nahi theek hai next the road to zanadu is a critical work by i know you know it it is famous it is based on coleridge road to zanadu 
बोलिए किसने लिखा रोड टू जैनडू इट इज बाई जे एल लाउस जे एल लाउस है ना वंडरफुल ओके देन नेक्स्ट नाइट थॉट्स इज अ सीरीज ऑफ फिलोसॉफिकल राइटिंग्स बाई हु रोड नाइट थॉट्स हु रोड नाइट थॉट्स नाइट थॉट्स absolutely suprava absolutely kaya ankita absolutely i want to summarize only very major works if i summar this is revision hai na kal to kiye the hum this is revision from yesterday's topics when i am teaching new i will summarize works okay when i am teaching new i will summarize works did you understand <laughs> did you like the quiz Did you like the questions? When you like it, you look like this. I know you look like this. Okay, next, Edwardians. I'm going to teach now. Ready for some teaching? First, it is Edwardians. Edwardians means the authors who lived during the reign of Edward the Seventh. Listen, everybody. Abhi to masti nahi. Listen, everybody. Authors who lived in the reign of Edward the Seventh. ओके एडवर्ड द सेवेंथ वॉज द किंग में पहला था जोसेफ कॉन्ड्रैड जोसेफ कॉन्ड्रैड वॉज बॉर्न इन एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन ऑल पी डी इन आवर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप आवर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप यू कैन जॉइन बाई सेंडिंग मी अ व्हाट्सएप मैसेज वेन यू सेंड मी व्हाट्सएप मैसेज ऑटोमैटिकली यू विल गेट टेलीग्राम लिंक इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप क्लिक द नेम ऑफ द ग्रुप एंड गो टू फाइल स्टैब and take it from there take all the previous pdf also from there theek hai now don't distract me i'm going to teach joseph conrad was born in 1857 he was originally from which place originally joseph conrad was from poland which is the first book by joseph conrad likho likho chat box mein first book by joseph conrad is almayer's folly what is called almayer's folly in the in that novel Joseph Conrad's novel, first novel, Almayer's Folly. What is called Almayer's Folly in that novel? Joseph has done many mistakes in life. One mistake is he wants to uh, build a house, and he builds a bad house. That is what is meant by Almayer's Folly. Okay, Caspar Almayer. That is his full name, Caspar Almayer. he is living in borneo jungle malaya he has a malayan wife okay this novel illustrates critical race theory next novel by joseph conrad is the nigger of the narcissus what is narcissus in that novel tell me in the nigger of the narcissus what is narcissus narcissus is a ship narcissus is a ship and it has a famous preface nigger of the narcissus has a famous preface the protagonist name is james wait james wait okay w a i t he is a black man who is dying of tuberculosis will you remember this narcissus is going from where to where narcissus the ship is going from where to where from our bombay to london This ship Narcissus in nigger nigger of the Narcissus is going from Hamara Mumbai Bombay to London. The next novel is Heart of Darkness. Where was Heart of Darkness published serially? Bolo. Where was Heart of Darkness published serially? It was published in Blackwood's magazine. Blackwood's magazine. ठीक है? Then you want me to type out everything? You want to see everything in typed form? I can do that if you want. Would you like me to type? ठीक है मैं टाइप कर सकती हूँ सुनो जोसेफ कॉन्ड्राट का लिखती हूँ ठीक है एवरी थिंग एलमेयर्स फॉली द निगर ऑफ द नार्सिस हार्ट ऑफ डार्कनेस 
विच इज द नेक्स्ट नॉवल बोलो हार्ट ऑफ डार्कनेस वॉज सीरियली पब्लिश इन विच बुक ब्लैकवुड्स मैगजीन ब्लैकवुड्स मैगजीन यू नो मार लो कुर्स है ना विच इज द नेक्स्ट नॉवल बोलो आप लोग बोलो इट इज लॉर्ड जिम लॉर्ड जिम इज द कैप्टन ऑफ अ शिप एंड लॉर्ड जिम इज गोइंग टू ही इज डिसर्टिंग द शिप एंड ही इज गोइंग टू एन आईलैंड वेयर ही इज कॉल्ड लॉर्ड जिम ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट नॉवल इज नोस्ट्रोमो नोस्ट्रोमो इज द नेक्स्ट नॉवल uh where nostromo is a white man an italian all right and ah area of darkness is by v s nepal he has also written other novels like the secret agent under western eyes bolo under western eyes is based on which other novel under western eyes is based on which other novel it is based on crime and punishment ha patna is the ship in which novel in which of these novels is patna the ship patna is the ship in lord jim will you remember everybody these are all important works by joseph conrad then uh, rudyard kipling rudyard kipling's major novel kim before that he wrote jungle book hai na he wrote jungle book and he also wrote kim and so many books hg wells has written what are the books written by hg wells bolo radyard kipling has written short stories also hai na radyard kipling has written short stories also very famous short story they already asked about is wireless wireless you want to know names of other short stories he has written falls dawn radyard kipling has written a short story called falls dawn then what has he written kidnapped radyard kipling's short stories i am writing then hg wells's novels do you know hg wells's first novel the time machine hai na time machine then the war of the worlds then uh, he has written many social novels hg wells has written many social novels which is the novel by hg wells where we have a frankenstein like character yes yes bubbly radyard kipling got nobel prize in 1907 sorry 1907 nobel prize correct correct uh, which are, which is the novel by hg wells bolo bolo sab log which is the novel by hg wells which is which has a frankenstein like character it is the island of dr moro the island of dr moro then he has written the invisible man did you know invisible man without the that is the title of ralph ellison's book ralph ellison wrote invisible man the invisible man is by a g wells then he has written when the sleeper wakes when the sleeper wakes wow that is another novel by a g wells and he has written a new woman novel do you know his new woman novel and veronica and veronica is a new woman novel by hg wells samajh rahe ho theek hai then john galsworthy john galsworthy has written plays like the silver box then strife then justice etc hai na they are all about class issues upper class lower class ha ha correct hai radyard kipling also wrote poetry like white man's burden and if if and white man's burden also by radyard kipling will you remember guys right uh, john galsworthy has also written forsyth saga which is a novel series hai na forsyth saga is a novel series by uh, john galsworthy uh, arnold bennett wrote novels based on what arnold bennett's novels are based on the plays called stoke on trent arnold bennett's novels are based on the plays called stoke on trent or five towns loyalties also galsworthy wrote loyalties correct 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 now uh ford madex ford and em foster also other important writers 
tell me E.M. Foster's works. Uh, E.M. Foster wrote a lot about India, Indian uh, British Raj in India, you know, where angels fear to tread is his first novel. Where angels fear to tread is taken, uh, title is taken from Alexander Pope's essay uh, on criticism. Alexander Pope's essay on criticism, where angels fear to tread. Then he wrote, The Room with a View. Then he wrote, which is the next novel, Howard's End. Then he wrote, A Passage to India. A Passage to India. I know you can't see, but that's okay. Uh, when you get the PDF, you can find it out, what I've written. Otherwise, I can do it like this. Yeah, Howard's End, A Passage to India. And also, Morris. His posthumously sub pub published novel is Morris. Morris, uh, Longest Journey also. Uh, Morris is uh, a book about homosexuality. Did you know that? Morris is a book about homosexuality. Okay? And uh, uh, E.M. Foster was homosexual also. Right. Very good. All of us together made this slide, didn't we? Together we made this slide. Wonderful. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. Now we are going to talk about other writers. And do you want to know who are the other writers here? Saki. What is... No, let me ask you some questions first. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Who among the Edwardians wrote Celestial Omnibus? Who among the Edwardians wrote Celestial Omnibus? Bolo. Who among the Edwardians wrote Celestial Omnibus? No options. It is who wrote Celestial on Omnibus? Why are you saying uh, Alice Munro? It is E.M. Foster. E.M. Foster. Will you remember? Celestial Omnibus is by E.M. Foster. All right. Next question to you. I'm going to ask you another question. Tell me. Uh, clay hanger. Listen to me. Clay hanger. Hilda Lesways. And these twain are a trilogy of novels written by Clay Hanger, Hilda Lesways, and these twain form a trilogy of novels by trilogy of novels by, of course, it is Arnold Bennett. Arnold Bennett, Hena. Arnold Bennett wrote Clay Hanger Trilogy. This is Clay Hanger Trilogy. Will you remember? Now, uh, I'm going to ask you another question. Sorry. Charles Wilcox. Charles Wilcox kills Leonard Bast in which novel? Charles Wilcox kills Leonard Bast in which novel? Bolo. It is Howard's End. Charles Wilcox kills Leonard Bast in Howard's End. A man. Next question to you, okay? Ready? A man sleeps. For 203 years and wakes up. Who wrote this story? It is H.G. Wells in When the Sleeper Wakes. In When the Sleeper Wakes, a man sleeps for 203 years and then wakes up. Wow! Will you remember? Then, next question to you. Ready, guys? Are you loving the quiz? Who coined the term? 
new woman who coined the term new woman it is sarah grand sarah grand coined the term new woman next question to you in which year does the time traveler meet the alloy ayyo it is a very very difficult year it is ad 802 701 802 abhi to 2021 only ho gaya ye to 802 701 so late isn't it now george ponderevo is a character in which novel george ponderevo i did not talk about this novel it is ag wells's novel tono bange tono bange now the dictator ribiera is in the dictator ribiera is in which novel bolo bolo nostromo nostromo has the dictator ribiera in costa in the imaginary country called costa gayana taradang wow did you know all that now next question is which famous play led to the reform of solitary confinement in prisons which famous play led to the reform of solitary confinement in prisons bolo 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 it is justice by galswadi justice by galswadi led to the reform of solitary confinement in prisons hena next i want to ask you another question mm what shall i ask you which character in heart of darkness things kurds is a remarkable man remarkable which character in heart of darkness things kurts is a remarkable man bolo i am giving tags sanjaya heart of darkness which character is it it is russian trader russian trader guys did you like the video guys please like the video now let me move on to the next topic irish writers are you ready guys irish writers ah russian trader in heart of darkness very important in, among the irish writers is george bernard shaw george bernard shaw's uh, books are given here mrs warren's profession arms and the man candida man and superman doctor's dilemma pigmalion saint john apple cart and then also j m singe who wrote riders to the sea and playboy of the western world sean o'casey who wrote dublin trilogy sean o'casey who wrote dublin trilogy abhi to yahan questions diya hai ready for questions young jolian and irene are characters in dash bolo young jolian and irene are characters in dash unable to tell what that is okay abhi to jaan gaye aap you now know then why are you upset young jolian and irene are characters in the first novel of forsyth saga it is the man of property that is awesome when you know the answer you are looking like this ta da dang you love it hai na you love it 
ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन विच प्ले बाय बनाट शॉ डस अ मैंस मिस्ट्रेस कंपेयर हर्सेल्फ टू अ रोस एंड द वाइफ टू अ कैबेज बट द मैन चूजेस द रो द कैबेज ओवर द रोस द मिस्ट्रेस इज कंपेयरिंग हर्सेल्फ टू अ रोस एंड शी इज सेइंग द मैंस वाइफ इज कैबेज and the man chooses the cabbage over the rose acha na ti ri ri oh ho it is the apple cart <laughs> in apple cart the mistress uh, man is king magnus king magnus his mistress orinthia orinthia <laughs> is saying that she is the rose and a uh, queen jemima is the cabbage <laughs> but king magnus says i want only cabbage no problem <laughs> did you understand did you like that look at the cabbage face when this is queen jemima's face <laughs> are sanjaya chi 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 theek hai which among the following plays does not touch upon the theme of war which among these poems sorry plays does not touch upon the theme of war bolo in heartbreak house it is first world war arms and the man is about serbo bulgarian war major barbara is about war and major barbara's father is an ammunition um dealer he is an ammunition factory owner it is man and superman did you get me guys heartbreak house is about first world war uh, arms and the man is about serbo bulgarian war major barbara is about an ammunition dealer and war uh, superman man and superman is the answer which of these characters plays the central role in the play the man of destiny duke of wellington napoleon bonaparte sir nicholas the second augustus caesar which of these characters plays the central role in man and super sorry man of destiny did you like the questions guys are you benefiting from it are you enjoying it it is ha ha usually man of destiny means who napoleon bonaparte it is napoleon bonaparte man of destiny means napoleon bonaparte only will you remember which of these novels depicts a white sepulchral city which of these novels depicts a white sepulchral city famous sepulchral means like death it is referring to brussels probably it is heart of darkness heart of darkness refers to brussels it is napoleon it is napoleon maine mar kiya na napoleon heart of darkness refers to a white sepulchral city if there are any new people here if you want the pdf please whatsapp me and you will get a uh, what is it this is my personal number you will get a telegram link okay you will get a telegram link join that telegram group and all the previous pdf will be in the files section of the telegram group white sepulchral city because it's white people also it's it's white people also there is a black and white dichotomy there did you understand and it's supposed to be white or fair and pure but it is not it contain it brings death that is the meaning i am answering daksh listen to me now which of these novels has a male protagonist who wears silver great silver great nay silver gray clothing silver gray clothing with solid silver buttons and rides a silver gray horse
which of these novels has a male protagonist who wears silver grey clothing with solid silver buttons dichotomy means two black and white two opposites that is dichotomy dichotomy means two ideas that are opposites and one is always superior to the other like good and evil black and white man and woman thank you princi priscilla's mother of course it is nostromo because nostromo is about silver mining silver is an important symbol in nostromo it is nostromo symbol silver is an important symbol in nostromo will you remember guys Tanadang, who are the pilgrims in Heart of Darkness? Tell me. Who are the pilgrims in Heart of Darkness? The greedy. Oh, yo, you can't see. Eh? I will help you see. The greedy agents of the company. Or the tortured workers working for the company. The natives who live off the company. The inhabitants of Congo who commute from place to place but are unrelated to the company. Which of these is the correct definition of the pilgrims in heart of darkness? Nahito galat bol rahe ho. It is the greedy agents of the company. The greedy agents of the company. The pilgrims in heart of darkness are the greedy agents of the company. Tike, will you remember? Uh, our Marlo is traveling with them. Marlo is traveling to the uh, inner station, uh, central station with them. That is right. Abhi, who predominantly used the speech and imagination of rural people in his works? Is it W. B. H. J. M. Sinch, Sean O'Casey, John Galsworthy? Not works, actually, plays. How what, Harshita? Who predominantly used the speech and imagination of rural people? Bolo. It is. J.M. Singe. Are John Galsworthy always talked about upper classes also. J.M. Singe talked about the rural people of Ireland. It is J.M. Singe in Riders to the Sea. Then uh, Playboy of the Western World. It is J.M. Singe. Are you loving the quizzes guys? Did you like my questions guys? Did you like my questions? Okay, next I'm going to ask you questions like before. Sir, Ralph Bonington is a character in Sir, Ralph Bonington is a character in Bolo 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 Thank you guys. Sir Ralph Bonington is a doctor. He is a character in our. <laughs> he is a character in. Isko hasate hum. He is a character in. The doctor's dilemma. He is a character in doctor's dilemma. Okay. Dekho kaise hasta hai. Donald Duck. <laughs> the doctor's dilemma. Next question to you. Isko hatate. We don't want him. Which famous play is set in the Balkans? Which famous play is set in the Balkans region? Thank you, Priyanka. Thank you, Priyanka's mother. Which famous play is set in the Balkans region? Balkans region means Serbia and Bulgaria. It is Arms and the Man. 
आर्म्स एंड द मैन ओनली ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू विच फेमस प्ले इज मॉडल्ड ऑन अ डॉल्स हाउस एंड सब टाइटल्स अ मिस्ट्री विच फेमस प्ले इज मॉडल्ड ऑन अ डॉल्स हाउस एंड सब टाइटल द मिस्ट्री बोलो बोलो इट इज आवर कैंडिडा कैंडिडा ठीक है कैंडिडा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू विच फेमस प्ले हैज एन एक्ट कॉल्ड डॉन यू एन इन हेल विच फेमस प्ले हैज एन एक्ट कॉल्ड डॉन यू एन इन हेल I don't know about date and all that. Don Juan in Hell is the third act of Man and Superman. Man and Superman which play is subtitled okay which play is subtitled a uh, meta ayo uh, biological pentatwek which play is subtitled a meta biological pentatwek jante ho it is none other than back to methusala back to methusala have you heard back to methusala is a group of five plays by uh, bernard shaw Back to Methuselah has five plays by Bernard Shaw. Five plays. Methuselah is the oldest man in the Bible. Okay, it is subtitled the Meta Biological Pentateuch, which play is set in the county of Mayo in Flaherty's pub. Which play is set in the county of Mayo in Flaherty's pub? Bolo. Which play? It is the Playboy of the Western World. The Playboy of the Western World by Singe J M Singe, है ना? Okay. Next question to you. One more question I am going to ask. Which are the plays in the Dublin trilogy? Which are the plays in the Dublin trilogy? The plays in the Dublin trilogy are The Shadow of a Gunman, Juno and the Peacock, and The Plow and the Stars. Are you Haycock? No, Peacock. The Shadow of a Gunman, Juno and the Peacock, and the Plow and the Stars. Okay, did you like that? If you like that, tell me. Next, we are going to talk about another question. Who of the following wrote the book, The Outline of History? Who of the following wrote the book, The Outline of History? Bolo. Is it W. B. Yeats, A. G. Wells, Ezra Pound, or Arnold Bennett? <clears throat> bolo, bolo, bolo. The Outline of History is a book by A. G. Wells. Outline of History is a book by A. G. Wells. Taradang Modernism. Are you ready? Dublin Trilogy is by Sean or Casey. I will write it here so that you will know. Which are the plays in the Dublin trilogy by Sean O. K. C. Sean O. K. C. Okay, thank you for asking. Now, modernism. Who is this beautiful woman? Virginia Woolf. What are the features of modernism? Tell me. Modernism used free verse, 
स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस टेक्निक मिथिकल मेथड एपिफेनी है ना एंड मॉडर्निज्म यूज्ड वेरी साइकोलॉजिकल काइंड ऑफ कैरेक्टराइजेशन साइकोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टराइजेशन सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्सिविटी और मेटाफिक्शनल एलिमेंट्स ठीक है डोरथी रिचर्ड्स एंड रोड पिलग्रिमेज हाउ मेनी नॉवेल्स आर देयर इन पिलग्रिमेज All questions are added in PPT. That is why I am typing. देखती नहीं हाँ इंटीरियर मोनोलॉग ऑल्सो फ्री वर्स बोलो हाउ मेनी बुक्स आर देयर इन पिलग्रमेज डॉरते रिचर्ड इन पिलग्रमेज हाउ मेनी बुक्स आर देयर गाइज इट इज थर्टीन बुक्स विच इज द फर्स्ट बुक विच इज द फर्स्ट बुक इन पिलग्रमेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंटेड रूफ्स Pointed roofs, है ना ठीक है Who coined the term uh, stream of consciousness? Who coined the term stream of consciousness? William James. William James. Who wrote the French stream of consciousness book? The laurels are cut down. Who wrote the French stream of consciousness book? The laurels are cut down. It is Edward Dujade. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Chandni. Now let let me ask you questions about the Virginia Woolf. You want me to type and ask you so that you will get the questions. I will type and ask you. Look. Oh, look at this. Already I am dead. Too much. I am dead. Are you dead? Are you tired? No, right? Okay. So we are not dead. We will study. Uh, I am going to ask you questions about who wrote the French play. The laurels are cut. It is a stream of consciousness play. Who wrote the stream of consciousness play? The laurels are cut. Answer is Edward Dujade. Edward Dujade. Will you remember? He's very famous, very important. Next, I'm going to ask you. Another question. In which novel did Wolf introduce Clarissa Dalloway for the first time? In which novel did Wolf introduce Clarissa Dalloway for the first time? Bolo, 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 bolo. Ah, did you like the video, everybody? I hope you are also uh, sharing the video with your friends. Are you sharing the video with your friends? Thank you, guys. It is in the voyage out. It is in the voyage out that she introduced Clarissa Dalloway, the character, for the first time. Okay. Who was? Who among the Bloomsbury group was associated with uh, defining the welfare state? Designing, designing the welfare state. Who among the Bloom Bloomsbury group was associated with designing the welfare state? Bolo. It is the economist John Maynard Keynes. The economist John Maynard Keynes. To get the PDF, you have to WhatsApp me. Okay? When you WhatsApp me, you will get the Telegram group link. You can take the PDF from the files tab of Telegram group. Okay? Will you remember? What is Q Gardens? 
what is kew gardens is it uh, the place where virginia wolf lived is it the place where bloomsbury group met is it the um is it a an unfinished novel by virginia wolf or is it a short story by virginia wolf what is kew gardens it is a short story by virginia wolf kew gardens is a short story by virginia wolf next question to you is mm what shall i ask you which is virgin wolves longest novel which has sections titled with years which is virgin wolves longest section uh, sorry novel which has section titled with the names of years it is the novel the years the years next question to you in which novel by wolf are pope addison and swift characters in which novel by wolf are pope addison and swift characters it is the novel orlando in orlando pope addison and swift are characters will you remember then what shall i ask you mm. which of virginia wolf's novels which work by wolf begins 3 years is a long time 3 years is a long time i will write more to leave a letter unanswered 3 years is a long time to leave a letter unanswered which book begins like this it is 3 guineas 3 guineas by virginia wolf begins like this 3 years is a long time to leave a letter unanswered theek okay. hai next which with which of the following is jacob flanders obsessed with is it technology money greece or horses with which of the following is jacob flanders obsessed with is it technology money greece or horses bolo it is greece jacob flanders is obsessed with greece oh yo i am dead i am dead <laughs> jacob flanders is uh, obsessed with greece what does lily brisco get at the end of to the lighthouse what does lily brisco get at the end of to the lighthouse it is are kyu bolte ho horses is it a vision an idea a memory or a new knowledge <laughs> what does lily brisco get at the end of to the lighthouse is it a vision an idea a memory or a new knowledge it is famously a vision that word is also there in the novel it's a vision don't forget okay okay guys don't forget in which of these novels does the character lucy swithin read a book entitled the outline of history we already know the outline of history is by hg wells in which book of virginia wolf 
Does Lucy Swithin read a book entitled The Outline of History? Bolo. Which book is it? It is Between the Acts. In Between the Acts. Lucy Swithin. Jacob Flanders is the protagonist of Jacob's Room. Jacob Flanders in Jacob's Room. Jacob's Room ka protagonist hai Jacob Flanders. Thik hai? So, Lucy Swithin is reading a book entitled Outline of History in Between the Acts. Who of the following wrote Ethelbert a Tragedy? Who of the following wrote Ethelbert a Tragedy? Is it Jacob Flanders? Is it Richard Dalloway? Is it Augustus Carmichael? Is it none of them? Trick question to you. Are you feeling bored guys or are you happy? Today a lot of people didn't come for course. Only few people have come. More than, less than yesterday. Why? They didn't like yesterday. Eh? Will you please like the video everybody? Many of you haven't liked I think. Will you please remember to like the video? Are I tricked you. It is none of them. It is none of them. It is Orlando. In Orlando, Orlando writes Ethelbert a tragedy. Ethelbert a tragedy. Is it, is it too tough for you? Is that why people are not attending? It's very tough. Hai, kya? Are. Orla Ethelbert a tragedy uh, is... Uh, written by Orlando the character in Virginia Woolf's Orlando Ethelbert a tragedy is the book written by Orlando will you remember okay Are, when you get questions from my PDF in the exam then you will understand the importance of this you will get questions from the quizzes that I have given you yeah please whatsapp me all the new people Join our telegram group. Uh, when you WhatsApp me, you will automatically get telegram link. Then join our telegram group. Go to the title of the group. Click it. Go to the files section. And then uh, take all the files and study. Modernism, James Joyce. James Joyce's first published work was Dubliners. Work. Before that, he published one story in The Irish Homestead. Irish Homestead. Dubliners is a collection of 15 short stories. Okay. Published in 1914. In this order, his books were published. Hello, Euphonious Poetry. Okay. Uh, Dubliners is a collection of 15 short stories. Okay. First short story is The Sisters. Last is, it is definitely beneficial. You will get lots of questions in the exam from these things. Ha! A portrait of the artist as a young man came in 1916. A portrait of the artist as a young man, 1916. Oh, okay. Andhra set is coming. Okay. 31st October ko hai? Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Portrait of an artist as a young man, 1916, Stephen Daedalus. Then Ulysses is there. Ulysses, 1922 book, 1922 Ulysses. Then Finnegan's Wake. Exiles is his only play. Exiles is his only play. Thank you, Kea. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Exiles is his play. Okay? Now, D.H. Lawrence, first novel is The White Peacock. Uh, White Peacock came in 1911. Then, Sons and Lovers, 13. The Rainbow and Women in Love. Re leadership novels, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Short stories, plays and criticism. I'm going to ask you questions now. Uh, I will also type questions like before. Do you mind my typing? Because I did not get time to make so many questions. That's why I'm typing. So please forgive me for typing in class. But I hope I'm typing fast and not wasting time. 
First question. Chamber music by James Joyce is dash. Have you heard of this? Chamber music by James Joyce? Is it a collection of short stories, collection of essays, collection of poems, collection of prose writings? Batao. Trespasser first name is second hai. It is a collection of poems. Chamber music is his first book to be published. Chamber music is first book to be published. Ta da dang! You liked it, I know. You liked it. Wow, James Joyce's chamber music. Your face is exactly like this. <laughs> TK, next. Gabriel Conroy, a teacher and part time book reviewer, is the central character of Dash. Very famous short story from Dubliners. These are all short stories in Dubliners. Very famous short story from Dubliners. Bolo bolo. It is. The dead. <laughs> the dead. Very famous short story from Dubliners. Has the character De Gabriel Conroy. Gabriel Conroy, a teacher and part-time book reviewer. Do not forget. Okay. The death of Father Flynn is the central issue of Dash. The death of Father Flynn is the central issue in which play? Uh, which short story? Bolo. Neto me kuch dikhaungi. Taradang. Are abhi to sleepy hi hoi. Neend aari hai kya? Thak gai hai kya? Aise kyu dik rahe ho? Why are your faces like this? Aarati, I am so proud, Aarati. Aarati, I am proud. It is the sisters. The sisters centers on the death of father Flynn. One father or clergyman dies. And the protagonist is a boy who goes visiting his sisters. The sisters are the sisters of father Flynn. In the rainbow, which of these characters married Mrs. Lensky? Mrs. Lensky, she was already married. She is a widow. Only one character married a widow in the rainbow. So who is that? <laughs> Chandni, I will wake you up with my harkate. All my mischievous things will wake you up. In the rainbow, only one man married a widow. Con hai? It is Tom Brangwen. Tom Brangwen. Tom Brangwen. Okay. Yes. Yes. Ho, 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 ho. New one. <laughs> Tom Brangwen married Mrs. Lensky. <laughs> In Women in Love, what relationship does Rupert Birkin describe thus? Whose relationship? Whose relationship does Rupert Birkin describe thus? Thus, like a star in its orbit. Like a star in its orbit. What does that mean? It is star equilibrium. About whose relationship does he say this? Bola bolo. Is it Adam and Eve? Is it himself and Urzuela? Is it an Etruscan god and goddess? Is it Caesar and Cleopatra? <laughs> Bolo. It is. Rupert Birkin talks about whose relationship thus? Sab lo galat bol rahe ho. Are nahi. It is Adam and Eve. Rupert Birkin talks about Adam and Eve's relationship like a star in its orbit. I am laughing because none of you said the correct answer. I am laughing because none of you said the correct answer. Full marks for me, okay? <laughs> okay. Modernism again. Modernism. Ab to se serious ho jao. Masti bas karo. 
Ezra Pounds. Remember, he started Imagism at the University of Pennsylvania. Hena, University of Pennsylvania. And his other Imagist friends were Amy Lovell, Hilda Doolittle, Richard Aldington. What is the slogan of Imagism? Make it new. Make it new. Take care. Oh, then. <laughs> Then imagism, uh, he defined as Milo Poya, Phono Poya, Logo Poya. Forget it. I will teach you that later. Repostus is the first imagist collection. Okay. Repostus, first imagist collection. Cantos is an unfinished epic. He was influenced by Haiku, Tanka, uh, And then uh, he also wrote Hugh Selwyn Moberly about a poet much like himself. Hugh Selwyn Moberly is a poet much like himself. And ABC of reading, vorticism, everything he uh, associated with. ABC of reading is his book. He wrote ABC of reading. Okay, next. T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot wrote the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, Geronsian, The Wasteland, Hollow Men. These are all uh, religious poems. Hollow Men, Journey of the Magi, Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is, uh, I will type, wait, wait. I will, I will type. Ash Wednesday is uh, his conversion poem. There are four quartets, Burnt Norton, East Coker, Dry Salvages and Little Gidding. And he also wrote poetic drama. Okay, other writers. Before that, mujhe poochna hai questions. Ready for questions, everyone? A few don'ts by an imagist. The where Pound discussed Imagism for the first time was published in the year dash. Batao. Pound discussed Imagism for the first time in a few don'ts by an Imagist. Where was it? When was it published? In 1913, in the magazine, Poetry, sorry, in the magazine called Poetry. Samajteo, a few don'ts by an imagist. Right. Next question. Ready guys? Which poem by D.H. Lawrence was discussed by I.A. Richards in the classroom? Which poem by D.H. Lawrence was discussed by I.A. Richards in the classroom? The answer is The Piano. The Piano by I.A. Richards. Next question to you is, give me one second. The gamekeeper, Annabel, is a character in, the gamekeeper, Annabel, is a character in, answer bolo, D.H. Lawrence's first novel, The White Peacock. D.H. Lawrence's first novel, The White Peacock. Then, next question is, Wiggiston Colliery. A 
appears in which novel? Vigiston Colliery appears in which novel? Vigiston Colliery, bolo bolo bolo. Vigiston Colliery, bolo. It is in the Rainbow, Marsh Farm and Vigiston Colliery. Marsh Farm and Vigiston Colliery. Richard and Jack engaged in a political movement. Our characters in Richard and Jack who are engaged in a political movement are characters in Kangaroo. Kangaroo is set in Australia. One of the leadership novels. Kangaroo is one of the leadership novels. Okay. Next question to you. Which was the first collection of imagist poems? Which was the first collection of imagist poems? There were 25 images poems. It is Repostus. Repostus. That came in 1912. Repostus. Next question to you is. Who is the Who is considered the father of imagism? It is not Ezra Pound, but T. E. Hume. T. E. Hume is considered the father of imagism. In which collection of essays were the three principles of imagism laid out by Pound? In which collection of essays were, was, were the three principles of imagism laid out by Pound? It is in retrospect. A retrospect published in 1918. A retrospect. T. Hume influenced Ezra Pound. T. Hume was the man who showed the images how to write poetry. Did you understand, guys? Rahul, my tongue is reo ya such bol reo. Next, I'll finish. Other writers. Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley ka pehla uh, book kaun sa tha? First book by Aldous Huxley. Are T.S. Eliot, I did not ask. T.S. Eliot se kuch ne poocha. Will do. Aldous Huxley bolo. Chrome Yellow is the first novel by Aldous Huxley. Hai na? Savage John is in which novel by Aldous Huxley? Savage John. I will teach you for some time. Aldous Huxley wrote Chrome Yellow. Madame Sosostris, the character, is from Chrome Yellow. His famous dystopian novel is Brave New World, which has the protagonist Savage John. Aldous Huxley was interested in Vedanta. And Aldous Huxley wrote many novels like Isle as in Gaza, After Many a Summer, Time Must Have a Stop, Ape and Essence, etc. And uh, Aldous Huxley was a late modernist. Okay. I will let me ask you some questions on T.S. Eliot now. I am typing because I know some of these questions will come in the exam. 
if you are feeling bored i am so sorry i want to help you that is why i am doing this uh mr kurds he dead is one of the epigraphs of which work which poem has this epigraph bolo bolo mr kurds he dead is one of the epigraphs of thank you rahul mr kurds he dead is one of the epigraphs of the hollow men the hollow men by eliot t s eliot hai na the hollow men by t s eliot theek hai next i want to ask you a question in my beginning is my end is the opening line of in my beginning is my end is the opening line of east coker east coker is one of the poems of east coker is one of the poems of four quartets four quartets then Ash Wednesday narrates the story of how Eliot converted to dash what did he convert to anglicanism eliot converted to anglicanism that is what um uh, this ash wednesday is about will you remember guys then next question reginald fitz urs your regional's name reginald fitz fitz urs hugh de morwell william d tracy and our characters in batao reginald fitz urs Hugh de Morville, William de Tracy, and Richard Le Breton are characters in. They are the four knights in the murder in the cathedral. They are the four knights who murder Becket. Will you remember? They are the four knights. Arey Ranjana. which okay now next question from here which of these novels centers on the criminal life of a character called the boy which of these novels centers on ha ha main karungi na sab par karungi post modern age which of these novels centers on the criminal life of a character called the boy it is brighton rock brighton rock the boy is also called pinky brown the boy is pinky brown hai na these are the four, uh, brighton rock is one of the catholic novels brighton rock is one of the catholic novels which of these novels depicts alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon alpha beta gamma delta epsilon kahan hota hai bolo they have they are the social classes in brave new worlds they are the social classes
They are the social classes. They go, ayo. They are the social classes in Brave New Worlds. Will you remember? Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and Epsilon. Okay. Next. Which of these writers was deeply influenced by French realism? Bolo. Which of these writers was deeply influenced by French realism? It is Arnold Bennett. Remember, okay? Arnold Bennett was deeply influenced by French realism. Are you loving it, guys? I hope I'm not boring you. Next. So many questions we did. Do you know? Now. It is actually. Revision. Revision time. Harriet an arch duchess. Is a character in. Harriet, an archduchess, is a character in Bolo. Harriet is a character in Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Well, Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Which work of George Orwell centers on Gordon Comstock's romantic ambition to defy worship? Of the money god status and the dismal life that results in. Gordon Comstock. Bolo? Which novel? It is Keep the Aspidistra Flying. Keep the Aspidistra Flying. Here I talked about, I didn't talk about these writers. Shall I talk to you quickly about them? First, Somerset Mom. No, first, uh, Poets of the 30s. We have, uh, last May, I will ask you questions and teach you. That is better. Otherwise, you will be bored. Let, let us finish these questions, then I will ask you questions and teach you. The Inheritance is a play by Matthew Lopez. Yo, based on which of these works? The inheritance is based on which of these works? Hello? <laughs> you don't know, eh? <laughs> it is Howard's End. The inheritance is by Matthew Lopez, Howard's End. <laughs> the Rainbow was published by... Who published Rainbow? The Rainbow. It is Methuen. Rainbow Methuen. Dreams old and dreams nascent are poems by Dreams old and dreams nascent. Wonderful questions, isn't it? Are you loving them? J.D.S. Lawrence. I'm having just hot water with some jeera and ginger in it. Hot water with jeera and ginger. Adrak or jeera. Old Dreams Old and Dreams Nascent is by D.H. Lawrence. A Child's Christmas in Wales is a radio broadcast by A Child's Christmas in Wales is a radio broadcast by Dylan Thomas Which among the following is an espionage novel by Graham Greene? Espionage actually. Bright and Rock also is espionage but not of that kind. A human factor is Pakka espionage. Human factor by Graham Greene. Will you remember? The perennial philosophy is a work by the perennial philosophy is a work by Aldous Huxley. 
Will you remember? Which among the following is an autobiographical work of Aldous Huxley? Autobiographical work of Aldous Huxley. It is the doors of perception. The doors of perception. Okay. Then, The War of the Worlds by A.G. Wells first appeared in which magazine in UK? The War of the Worlds appeared in which magazine in the UK? All the year round, nahi ho sakta. Pearson, Pearson's magazine. Will you remember? So many questions we are doing. Imagine. Dandelion Wine is a 1957 novel set in the fictional town of Greentown, Illinois, resembling the childhood of the author. Tell me, whose work is this? It is Ray Bradbury. Suddenly we are asking from a different area, but that's okay. Which of the following is not a short story in the Dubliners? Which of these is not a short story in the Dubliners? Bolo. It is a short novel by D.S. Lawrence, The Virgin and the Gypsy. The Virgin and the Gypsy is by D.S. Lawrence. Not by James Joyce. Hey, this Unacademy girl, you should remember to subscribe, okay? Remember to subscribe and join Unacademy, please, please, please. Before the exam, get everything. You can do up to 27th of Khatam Hua. Aaj hai. Aaj kar sakte ho. 12 plus 1 mega offer hai abhi. Aaj abhi kar sakte ho. Okay, ready for some questions? I'm going to ask you some questions. Ready guys? For D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence ke questions ke liye. Ready ho? Hmm. Is, is a book of dash. Look, we have come through. Is a book of dash. It is a book of love poems. You know, he eloped with Frida Weekly. D.S. Lawrence eloped with Frida Weekly. And <laughs> he wrote, look, we have come through. D.S. Lawrence eloped with Frida Weekly and wrote this. Will you remember? Mr. Noon is a dash. <laughs> Mr. Noon. Unfinished novel by Lawrence. Mr. Noon is an unfinished novel by D.H. Lawrence. Middle of the world is a dash. Bolo, kya hai middle of the world? D.H. Lawrence's poem, famous poem it is. Middle of the world is a poem by D.H. Lawrence. Will you remember guys? In D.H. Lawrence's, D.H. Lawrence wrote a group of poems called Tortoise poems. In D.H. Lawrence's tortoise poems, 
tortoise represents dash tortoise represents what the poet tortoise represents the poet burdened by the world the poet burdened by the world that is tortoise Next question. Are you bored? Do you want me to continue for some time? Kate Leslie, an Irish widow, is the protagonist of Dash. Kate Leslie, an Irish widow, is the protagonist of Dash. She travels to Mexico. She is in the plumed serpent. She is in the plumed serpent. Uh, you. Next question to you guys. Which is the Brechtian play? By D.S. Lawrence. Which is the Brechtian non-realistic play by D.S. Lawrence? It is David. David is a Brechtian non-realistic play by D.S. Lawrence. Shall I stop now? We did an amazing set of quizzes. So much. Wow, isn't it? It's amazing. I think I should stop now. It's too much otherwise. People are tired. Study all this. We'll meet tomorrow with another set of amazing questions. What do you say? I will send this in the group. Brachtian means related to Bertold Brecht. Bertold Brecht, related to Bertold Brecht and Epic Theatre. Yes. Sare YouTubers and Zoomers, nobody is there in Zoom, only Zoom, only me, I am there. Brechtian Batari, you know, related to Brecht, Bertold Brecht. Epic Theatre, wala, Brecht, Brecht. Brechtian means, I will write here. And is a big theater. Got it? Please like the video, share with your friends, okay? Please help me reach out to everybody. I need your help as much as you need mine. So, thank you guys. I am stopping now. Love you all. God bless you. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow.